Well, Rihanna said, work, 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 work. That's why me have to work, 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 work. Yeah, that's why me have to work, you know, because I don't want to be in nobody's prison for no long periods of time. Matter of fact, I don't even want to do a day. Welcome back to SoFlo TV again, everybody. It is your host with the most. Another Jamaican takes a dive in the United States of America here. This one happened on Wednesday, November 15th of 2023, and I was supposed to bring it to you earlier, but you don't know the thing already is Thanksgiving weekend, all these other things, a lot of busy stuff going on, family flying in and out, so on and so forth, so pardon the delay on any of these stories, but still, we are here, and we are going to get right into the stories, taken straight from the, Jam the usjustice.gov site, it says, Rally, North Carolina. A Jamaican man was sentenced today to 204 months in prison for trafficking kilograms of quantities of cocaine. Ross, from here, 204 months in prison. And me no se, the year only have 12 months and 12 into 204. Me left school long time ago, but Jesus Christ, me here hundreds of months. Me shit up myself on feet already. Lord God. Anyhow, God go with him because I ain't going. Here's the rest of the story. So on August 17th, 2023, Michael Kenroy Bell, aka ROC, otherwise called or alias known as Jamaica Mike, age 47 years old, he pled guilty to the charges. Bombo, the man of 47, and he must forgot about 17 years in a prison. <laughs> Oui, hold your belly mama. Bell had been deported to Jamaica June 25th of 2020. Uncle Sam fling him out, gave him a swift exit, heading to the West Indies, island of Jamaica after serving a federal sentence for a previous drug trafficking offense and is in the country illegally again. Uncle Sam is wondering how the rest the boy come back in here. Eh? After we fling him out. Well, you know, Jamaicans, they'll always find a way. That's one, <laughs> that's one thing about us. All right, but this career drug trafficker, as he is called now, was previously charged, convicted, and deported. Did this all before. This time, he was caught trying to dodge accountability with a false ID said U.S. Attorney Michael Easley. Drug traffickers operating in Raleigh should take note of this 17 years sentence. We are actively partnering with the Raleigh police and the FBI to disrupt and dismantle drug trafficking networks like this one. So they made an example out of him. According to court documents and other information presented in court, the Federal Bureau of Investigation or the FBI, Jesus Christ, when them people let start latch on pan you, you know, from you hear the three letter word people, them just know say, you in trouble. Okay? If you're shitting at your drawers before you wash it, them are gonna know. Anyhow, the FBI and Raleigh Police Department were involved in an investigation of a drug trafficking organization that was operating in Raleigh in the fall of 2021 through physical and electronic surveillance including a federal wiretap bell was observed interacting frequently with known drug dealers that were subjects of this investigation so uh, i know him them did a trail is a group of drug dealers they were trailing and he got caught in the net frequently associating with these individuals so they started investigating him as well though he was not charged yet in 2021 in that investigation bell remained under surveillance by law enforcement and between february and may of 2022 he was observed making numerous trips between Raleigh and huntersville as well as 11 trips to Miami, Florida, specifically to purchase cocaine. 11 trips in a just one year. Matter of fact, that's from February to May. February, February, March, April, May. That's four months. In four months, he made 11 trips 
from North Carolina to Miami to purchase cocaine. He was often observed in the 700 block of Quarry Street, which is frequented by members of the Eight Trey Gangster Crips and is known by law enforcement to be a high drug trafficking area. I know Jamaica this papa, them set up them thing different. This is not like Mobile where them are talk about is 45 uh, gangs in this area and then Jamaica police are act like they don't know who is what are, who is doing what, but they know that there are 45 gangs, which makes no sense. In the US, they do their surveillance a bit different. You can be under surveillance for years and don't even know it, but when they come for you, they're gonna give you all kinds of hard evidence, which most people usually end up taking a plea deal at the end of the day because you can't really fight it. Well, in June of 2022, Bell was pulled over now in Florida, and after detecting an odor of marijuana, officers searched his vehicle and found both cocaine and marijuana. Here's another thing, tip of the day. The police officers in the United States of America, once you hear them say, mm, I, I smell some marijuana, just know say, the next thing they're gonna say is, step out of the vehicle, please. Smell of marijuana gives them the right to search your vehicle period take it do what you want to do with it i'm not trying to help anybody to be a better criminal i'm just letting you know some people so dumb they already doing wrong have other drugs in the car hidden in compartments they're transporting illegal gun pan them all that and they driving and burning a spliff at the same time by the time them get pulled over they think you're not gonna get searched, the police smell the marijuana. From them smell the marijuana, they're searching up your car. All right, driver, me say, don't stop at all. You hear what Buja said? Go listen to Buja Bantan, driver, don't stop at all. Him give you all the tips you needed in that song. Anyways, so in June 22, 2022, Bell was pulled over in Florida. And after detecting an odor of ganja, officers searched his vehicle and they found lots of cocaine and marijuana. Bell provided law enforcement with a fake identification card at this time, but his identity was discovered when he was booked at the local jail. Now, despite being in custody, Bell orchestrated the continuation of his cocaine distribution in the rally area. Bell has a lengthy criminal record including multiple felonies, including a 2009 federal conviction for two drug trafficking charges. Now, this is part of an organized crime drug enforcement task force investigation or the OCDETF investigation. OCDETF identifies disrupts and dismantles the highest level drug traffickers that is what they do in case you're wondering what the ocdetf does they identify disrupt and dismantle the highest level drug traffickers money launderers gangs and transnational criminal organizations that threaten the united states by using a prosecutor's led intelligence driven multi-agency approach that leverages the strength of federal state and local enforcement agencies against criminal network michael easley u.s attorney for the eastern district of north carolina he made the announcement after sentencing by u.s district judge james c dever iii the federal bureau of investigation bureau of alcohol tobacco firearms and explosives and the rally police department investigated this case and the assistant u.s attorney taylor lemons prosecuted this case after the investigation had put together a case to be prosecuted god almighty i don't know which of you are not learning you heard how many people was on this one man let me read it for you again michael easley a u.s attorney for the eastern district of north carolina he made the announcement that this jamaican man had just gotten 17 years and they are so familiar with him they named him jamaica mike jamaica mike so after the attorney of the district 
made that announcement. He was sentenced by a judge, yes. The FBI was on him. The Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco and Firearms was on him and explosives. The Raleigh Police Department investigated it. The U.S. State Attorneys prosecuted it. Why? I better you did just stay your yard and plant your man banana and dashing and them thing there here, sir. Because what 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 good did that profit you? I'm not too good at maths. But if you 47 right now and you just get 17 more years, somebody leave in the comment section please how many years this man will be gone to prison in the United States of America. And you already know how United States of America prison get down. In a pretty in there. Like it's not pretty in no prison anywhere, but I've always said if it came to it bad to worse, I would probably prefer to be locked up in Jamaica. Why? Because mama can still bring me some oxtail and some rice and peas and have my food, even though they're gonna search it up and these things, but still, I can still taste that. You locked up up here, God go with you. And I hope your sanity hold together because them have some torture technique behind these prison walls in the U.S. You see, when them start lock you up in a summer room where you can't hear nothing but the only the sounds that you make, then you start trip off your clothes, do do in your hand, fling it on the wall, write your name in cursive in doo-doo, piss on yourself. You start do all kind of something in there. You stop eat. You start talk to yourself and lose your mind. You start go schizophrenic. You start do all kind of something in there. So, end of the day, I guess the warning is. Try to stay away from these kind of things, please. It's 2023. There are so many other legal ways to make money right now, like never before in history. And people still choose drug dealing, drug dealing, drug dealing when surveillance technology is the highest and best it has ever been in history and is only getting better. Drug dealing you choose. Well, if you just know this. If you choose drug dealing, no, you mean to tell me that you choose prison later. With that said, I leave this right here. And like I said before, God go with him because me can go. Catch y'all on the next video still. Walk good. I'm out. Peace.